Hi, morning everyone. Richard here. Currently, I'm out in the park again. Uh, today, I'm going to do a review on this case uh, macro filter, right? Close up lens, we call it. So, this is how the lens look like, and that is meant for macro. Uh, it's only uh, two times diopter, right? So, it's something like that. You can see. So, on the 7mm. So, today is a bit different. I'm not going to use this on a uh, mirrorless camera, right? So I'm gonna use it on my phone. Okay, so this is my phone, which is the Vivo X100 uh, Pro. But I have a special case. This is a special case which means for using uh, filters, right? You can see there's threads here, and outside there's a big thread. This is a 67mm thread, which I can mount my this lens on to make it into a macro. So the phone does have a macro itself, but the difference is for the phone, if you use the macro function or the tele lens function to zoom in, it's shooting at 12 megapixels, right? But I don't want to shoot at 12 megapixels because this uh, camera has a 50 megapixel lens. Right, so I want to use the full high resolution 50 megapixel lens, but that one doesn't have a macro function, right, or it doesn't focus near enough. So that's why I want to use this case uh, macro field close up lens, which is to use it for macro. So I'm able to zoom in closer uh, to the subject and get a photo. So we shall try this out, and I want to see how does this come out and uh, for the pictures for 50 megapixel, okay, don't compare with the standard 12 megapixel uh, macros from this phone. I want to shoot 50 megapixel. From there, we want to see the image quality. At the same time, uh, my ability to crop in from the 50 megapixel. So let's try this out. Okay, I'm trying to go into this area. A bit darker, there's so no flash. Normally, you shoot macro with flash. But because this is a phone, <laughs> it's just a computational pro digital photos, right? So let's try to see if I can get any bugs from here. I can hear them, but uh, hopefully I can get some and uh, not feed the mosquito at the same time. So let's try to get hold of some bugs from this area and uh, we shall see how the photos come out from the Vivo X100 Pro and the macro lens from Case. Let's turn on the camera. So I shall switch it. That's why you need to go into the function high resolution. Okay, this is 50 megapixel. Okay, that's a robber fly. Let's switch it to 100 mm. Oh, yep, it's there. But that's a robber fly. Let's try to get as close as possible. So we won't know how it looks like. Wow, that's great. Let's look at this. I, I'm shooting at 50 megapixel on this, right? So that's how it looks like. And the depth of field is great. Look at the blur behind. Yowch, the mosquito is coming in here. Let's try to get more close-up shots at the side view especially. This is without the close-up filter from case. That's the closest it can focus. Okay, so you can. I'll show you the size difference, right? Wow, this place is good. The robber fly just landed right in front of me. Okay, so this is the size difference. Okay, that's with the filter. This is the size without the filter.
Okay, hope you like the photos and the videos coming out from this uh, Vivo X100 Pro with the case uh, close-up filter, which is uh, actually a macro filter, it's two times uh, diopter. It, so I can use my 50 megapixel sensor. So I don't like the to use the 12 megapixel uh, for macro because I'm not getting the full uh, capability of the sensor. Whereas the 12 megapixel is stacked together and it's processing, highly processed image uh, in terms of when I'm shooting macro, right? But the 50 megapixel is more natural, the colors are better, the sharpness is clearer, the, the details is better, right? Because it's not overly processed and then it, it's exactly using what the lens is giving and the sensor is giving. So the 50 megapixel from the main sensor actually, that's what it's using. So I hope you like the photos and the videos and give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, I'll try to leave a link to this case. Uh, I don't think the case filter has a link. But the, a lot of people ask me where do I get this case for the X100 uh, Pro for me to adapt filters. It's actually from AliExpress. If you go to AliExpress, uh, you can find this case. Uh, at the same time, some of the local shops, which is uh, Shopee or Lazada, has, has it. But I'll try to leave it, uh, the link, if you ask. Okay, bye. Have a nice day. See you.